Hey yogis, I'm Caitlin Turner, but most of you might know me as Chipset Goddess. And we're tuning in today for day six of Aloe Yoga's seven days of arm balancing poses. Today, we're gonna tackle eight angle pose. And this one, I like to think, looks a lot trickier than it is, but you never know until you try. So let's give it a try and see what happens. So before we get into it, we're just gonna warm up a little bit to start. Nice and easy, you're gonna roll down onto your back, kick both feet up to the sky, cross your right ankle over the front of your left thigh, making an upside down four, and thread the needle. Stick your right hand through the triangle of the four, interlace all 10 fingers behind your left thigh, and then keeping your tailbone down on your mat, just hug everything in nice and tight. Your inhales will show you where you're feeling tight, and your exhales will help you let it go. Now let's just take that through the other side. Kick both feet up, cross the left ankle over your right thigh, thread the needle reaching through the triangle of your upside down four with your left hand, interlace all 10 fingers, bend your top knee and relax everything in. Breathing here. Gently release that, hug your knees into your chest, and either rock and roll up to a seat or turn on your side and find your way there. We're gonna do a simple prep pose before we jump into our final expression. So draw your right knee into your chest, take your right heel and put it into your elbow crease of your left elbow. And now with your right arm, place your right knee in your right elbow crease, interlace all 10 fingers, really lengthen your spine here. And this is sort of like the movement that we just did with our threading the needle on our backs, except now we're taking up the intensity level a little bit with a seated variation. So just take a moment here. And then release that. Catch a hold of your, the bottom of your right foot with both hands and just try and draw it back behind you as much as you can, really feeling an opening through your hip crease. And release. And we'll just take that through the other side. Bend your left knee. Find the crease of your right elbow with your left heel. Take your left arm around your left knee, interlacing all 10 fingers. Reach your chest up to the sky, the crown of your head up to the sky, and feel that opening all through your left hip. Really nice. We'll do one more breath here. And then before you release entirely, just catch the bottom of your foot with both hands and really draw that knee back for a moment and release. Are you ready? Should we get into it? Let's try. So kind of like we did for that prep stretch, you're gonna take your right knee, pull it back nice and far. The further your knee gets behind you, the easier this is gonna be because where we're taking that knee is actually on top of your right shoulder. And you really wanna get this connection nice and tight. If it's on your arm like this, it's gonna be a lot harder. So trying to get that knee all the way up to your shoulder. Once you have it there, place your right hand on your mat, your left hand on your mat, and we're just gonna test it first. Start to shift forward. See if you can push into your hands and just gently lift your hips off the mat. If you feel like you can and you're ready, push into both hands, lift your hips up, and then draw your left knee into your chest until you can cross both feet. And you can stay here. This is enough. Maybe this is it for you today, and if so, you're doing great. Or maybe you start to kick your feet out to the side as you bend into your elbows, finding your chaturanga arms here. And that is eight limbs pose. So let's take it through the other side. For the left side, you're gonna draw your knee nice and far back so that you can really get it up high on your shoulder. And place both hands down, shoulder width apart. Start to shift your weight forward, do a little check, make sure you can lift. If you can, then let's start to find that cross. And if you wanna just chill here, that's fine. If you're ready to move on, then kick both feet out to the side, lengthening through your knees as you bend your elbows, finding chaturanga arms. And gently release. Good job, yogis, you did it. 
And even if you didn't find the full expression, you showed up today for yourself, and that's what counts. So great job, and see you tomorrow for day seven. It's a really good one you don't want to miss. Namaste.